Hello there, 585ers. This is an addendum to our class last night where we were uh, talking about the different ways of doing assessment with technology. Um, I did not do a very good job about one of my favorite tools to use, Edpuzzle. Um, I'll own that, but I also will give myself a little bit of a um, out, if you will, because the Edpuzzle people have changed how they uh, want you to use uh, the note feature in Edpuzzle. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here and go into an Edpuzzle. And I'm going to use something from National Geographic because they really got some cool stuff. And so here I am. Now I'm going to hit Edit. Now it's ready for me to do any of the things that we talked about yesterday. So let me review that. We're By default, we're in the cut. So if I need to uh, shrink this, in other words, if I need to make a shorter video because it's too long and it's too, there's too much in it for my kids to absorb, I can just slide that back and forth. I can, of course, slide this forward and backwards to change the starting point. However I want to do it, I can do that with the cut feature. Now, voiceover. Voiceover allows you to essentially take over the talking um, of the video that you're watching. So you need to know your video pretty well to do that. Now, here's where they change things. In questions, if you want to put a note in, that's an audio note, this is where you do it. So you come down here and you click on note, and then you click on the record button. This video is all about how earthquakes occur. Let's watch and see if we can understand the things that are required for an earthquake to happen. And now I put that where I want it here at the beginning. So it's going to be there before the video even starts, as you can see. So what happens is when you start the video. April 18, 19th. If you have a note in here, it will stop the video where you have your note. And as you can see, I have it at the beginning. So I have to come over here and I click. This video is all about how earthquakes occur. Let's watch and see if we can understand the things. All right. And then you click continue and it starts. April 18, 1906, California, San Andreas Fault. Right okay, and I'm going to slide this forward a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add another note. And this time I'm basically going to say, this is the most important part, the understanding of how earthquakes are caused by it's moving around. Pay attention to this. And then I'll add that in. Okay, and what it will do then is when it gets to that part in the video, it will stop. Driven by the heat deep within the Earth's core, the plates grind against each other along lines. And when it stops, you click this. This is the most important part, the understanding of how earthquakes are caused by plates. Then when you hit continue, it picks up or it's off. So you don't, you're never overwriting whatever it is in the video. Now that was a very gross <laughs> simulation of how to do it, but I wanted to make sure that you got that. Uh, and again, I apologize for anything that um, I did say that you're confused about. Nearpod, I feel good about. Now I feel good about Edpuzzle. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of this, do not hesitate to reach out to me at 502-457-2937.